All right, this is going to be how to put a scatter plot into your calculator. Uh, if you're following along in your book, we're going to use the XY table given to us on page 115 under example 3. And we're trying to approximate a best fitting line. Uh, and the example that they're using, that they're giving us a, a table that shows the number of alternative fueled vehicles in use in the United States X years after 1997. Approximate the best fitting line for the data. And so here's the data right here. And we want to put this into the calculator. So uh, anytime we do any kind of scatter plotting or anything, it's going to come from the stat key. So hit the stat key and then choose to edit. Choose choice one. And then if there's anything in your list, uh, arrow key up, choose clear, and hit enter. That'll clear your list every time. Do not choose the delete key. Uh, and then we're just going to enter our numbers. And every time you're ready to put a number in, you just type that number on your keypad and hit enter. So we can put as big of a number as we would like in here. But uh, for this particular example, we're just going to use the numbers 1 through 7. And and then we need to, this will, uh, we put all these into list 1. And, and list 1 is going to be our x coordinate. So if we use x1 for our, uh, list 1 for our x coordinate, guess what x uh, list 2 is going to be? You guessed it, the y coordinate. So we're going to put our y coordinates in here. And again, you can put as big of a number uh, that you would like, so you're not just limited to a single digit number. And sometimes we'll put years over here, sometimes we'll put different things. So once we get all of our information from the Y list in, we want to look at uh, the two lists that we just created on our calculator, and they need to both be the exact same length. If they are not the exact same length, then we're going to get an error when we tell the calculator to do the math. And so just a real quick check will show us that 7 goes with 548, and that's what we've got over here uh, as well. So we're ready to look at a scatter plot now. And to do this, we need to turn the scatter plot on. And uh, we'll hit the second key, y equals. We're going to use plot 1, so choose 1. And then inside here is a lot of different information that the calculator needs to actually create the scatter plot. So we want to turn the scatter plot on. Right now it's off. And then we want to pick the type of scatter plot that's available to us. We want this very first guy. The first guy is a scatter plot, and these are all different sorts of things, from box and whisker to histograms and everything else. But we want the scatter plot option one here. The X list is list one. That's what we planned on. The Y list is list two. That's also what we planned on. And then the type of mark that your calculator leaves are these three. You have these three choices. The easiest one to see is the one that's already chosen for you. Okay. Now, when you first look at your calculator, it's going to be what's called a standard picture. Zoom 6. And notice, there's nothing there. Don't panic. We're the window that the, your calculator defaults to is not ideal uh, for scatter plots. And so to get a better picture, what we want to do is we want to use the zoom stat feature, which is going to be zoom 9. And it's right here, zoom stat. So it, what it will do is we'll give you a window that sh best represents the scatter plot that you uh, have programmed in. And so here's our scatter plot right here. Looks good. Now the question is to determine a line of best fit. And to do that, go back to your home screen. And uh, from here, we're going to use our calculator to help us. And it will be a, a really good line. We're going to choose the stat key again, again, because it's going to use our scatter plots. We're going to calculate this time. And what are we going to calculate? We're going to calculate a linear regression. So choose option four. And we want to graph this linear regression to see how good of a fit it is. It will show us. And in order to do that, this is a, uh, a fun little trick. And if you can pick this up, uh, it will make life really easier later in your math careers. But the VARS key, and then go to Y-VARS. 
and we're working with functions and we're going to graph it from y1 and so you put all this in, you put that in and you should have something that looks similar to this and you hit enter and here's your slope your a here's your y intercept your b and then down here this r value is your correlation coefficient and remember the close the closer the correlation coefficient is to 1 the more perfect a fit you're going to have and so our equation for this line would be y equals 40.869x plus 262.83 and to look at a graph of it just hit the graph key on your calculator and there's your line of best fit and it rolls through just about every uh, point listed on the graph and it shows a linear uh, that a linear line uh, does a good job of fitting this information and that's how you can create a scatter plot